Hello everyone, it's Nick Lawson with CDC Take Charge Software and this is lesson 3 on how to write XBasic code in Alpha Software. As I stated, today we will be discussing the sign-in button on the sign-up form of our new application It's For You. So, here on my clock calendar I went ahead and added it as a startup. So, click it it's going to go out and load the application and it brings us to the login screen <clears throat> now what I've done here is I've made a couple changes so I'm going to show you how it works first so here notice that it says read me exit and log in um, when I log in pops up my box we'll use Ricky again as we have been and when we click OK our form changes. Now, it says, Welcome, Ricky. Uh, what do you want to do? See your messages, take messages, and manage users. And our button up here that said exit now says log out. The other change that we made to the form, if you remember from the original, and I'll show you in a minute, this used to be radio choices, which, and I mentioned that I don't like to dance and answer around the radio choice, so what I did was convert it to buttons and made them web style where they're underlined and flat and transparent and then when you hover over them they pop up as buttons. That's a nice cool professional look and it's very modern in its nature. So let's take a look at what we've got going on. Oh also I'm sorry I've added a hotspot uh, right here on our secretary space and that brings up the control panel. Now. When we go to design on the form, we have all of our objects displayed. We have a button. Behind the button, we have our text box. So let's look at our login button and see what's going on. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got the text box selected. There we go. Come on, push. Okay. Here, and we did not change this code from the original It's For You application much. Everything at the top is correct. It pops in the log up box the way we want, uh, allows you to select your user, um, goes ahead and parses the information the way we need it to. And what they do is they set the value of the field in the table to username. Then they use different parts of that string to take and determine what they're going to do. So like here, if left, right, username uh, 4, comma 1 equals tr true, then admin is true. In essence, what they're doing is they're checking the rightmost character of the string um, and determining if it's uh, true or not. If it is, then the person is an admin and they get you to use the admin button. Down here, when it takes, once the password uh, passes the test, it brings them down. What we've done is text one is our message box, so we set it to welcome, and we use word, username, and the first position, because that's his name. Then we make the object visible. Here, we set the text on button three, which did say exit, to log out. On button one, we tell it that it's no longer visible, and we tell it that it's no longer enabled. That way they can't arbitrarily click it and cause it to have some action perform in the background. Um, finally, we set our text object to be visible. Down here, we're saying that if the admin value returned as true, then button five, button six, and button seven all become visible and are set to true. Otherwise, if it's not true, then only button 5 and button 6 are visible. Finally, we take and reactivate button 3 so that our form looks nice and clean and neat and ready for a user interaction. Now, let's contrast that with what they had going on in the original application. Oops, sorry, here it is. Alright, here on their button, 
again, the code is the same at the top. Uh, changes the username, does all the things, parses it out in the different parts of the string, and then comes down here and it sets the text to their text box is text two, sets it to welcome. Um, they make button one visible false, so they're hiding their button one. Um, and then they take and enable text three, um, which is uh, the little one that says, what do you want to do on their object? Down here, <clears throat> they set the radio choices to, if it's admin, um, then they make uh, two choices available, and if it's not, they make an additional two choices available. Or I'm sorry, and not two choices. They make it visible, and then they enable it. Otherwise, they make the other one visible and enable it. Um, finally, they take and set the button control object to visible. Now, you'll notice that here on their form, like we did, they wrote everything as straight X basic code. Why? Because in this case, there is a lot that needed to be done and it's easier to control an XBasic rather than a high-level action script. What they did not do is set the exit button to log out. So if you are logged in as a person, let's take and do that. All right, so I'm going to log in, and I'm going to go to Ricky. Say OK. All right, so now, notice they have a next button here, which we don't have because now our buttons have replaced the radio choice. But if I click exit, it just closes the application. Um, we don't want that. One, we don't want the user going back to the control panel. And two, we want them to be able to log out so that they don't have to keep opening the application every time they need to get into it. So in ours, if we go back, and go to our login here if I take and at this screen where the button does say exit if I exit it exits all the way out but if I am logged in it brings me back to the screen and as you can see it closed our application completely so that we're actually back at our desktop so that's pretty much it let's take one more look at it um, go to the message center and when it comes up, we're at the login screen. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Ricky and tab to get to my password. Enter the password. Click OK. We're in. I need to see my messages. I click OK to that. It pops up on the form. Um, I now exit to go back. I want to log out because I'm going to lunch and it brings me back to my screen. So when I come back from lunch, I can then log in again, or I exit completely. There you go, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and have a great day.